be patient it will happen be patient it will happen too you know what I mean when uh, you got to the draft I've seen you sort of watching the to see if they ended up taking a corner oh yeah, <laughs> really, yeah, yeah. Like, I wasn't really I wasn't really watching okay. I, I was keeping I was keeping the ear out you know yeah. just to just see what's going on see where their where their head's at and stuff so I was definitely I was definitely keeping up <laughs> Chris what's your uh, your strength to you I mean I sounds like you play so I don't try uh, I feel comfortable playing either uh, inside or outside. Like I said, I, I played in this team. It's going to be my eighth year, so I know it pretty well. Uh, I feel like I can get an experience to either or, so I feel pretty comfortable playing both. Why do you feel so comfortable in this scheme? This is the only scheme I've been in. Uh, maybe a little bit different terminology, but this is the only defense I've played in since I've been in the NFL, so I feel pretty comfortable. And what do you call about uh, – Playing for Staley back in Denver. What, what? What, do you, what do you call about playing with uh, Brandon Staley back in Denver? What do you? Great guy, man. Great dude. Uh, we've always clicked. Even uh, I was with him for a little bit in Chicago. We've always had a great relationship. So when he when he called me, uh, I already kind of knew what was up. He was ready. He was ready to go. Huh? Oh yeah. Just the early stages of you know getting chance to play both. I mean, how's, you kind of mentioned it, how, how similar is this to the defense that Vic was running all those years in Chicago and obviously in Denver as well? I'd say about probably like 90% similar, just different terminology that I need to learn. Uh, there's a little different, like a couple of knickknacks here and there that are different, but overall pretty much, pretty much the same. Is there any advantage in returning to a team inside a division you've already played in in the past? Uh, I would say so, you know, uh, kind of know what's going on in this uh, this division and stuff. You kind of know people's tendencies, what they want to do. And so just staying here, I feel like I have to learn, like relearn on every team and stuff. So it's a positive for sure. Did you get a chance to play Adams in while you were in Chicago? Oh yeah, I played him uh, a few times. So we got him two times a year. So yeah, I definitely, definitely had my fair share of him. What do you think of this, the strength of the AFC uh, West now? Quarterbacks, you know, the receivers and all that. It's just an explosive uh, division. What's your most favorite team, especially on the Eagles? Like Khalil Mack, you know, from Chicago, uh, oh, JC yes. Jackson, yeah. those guys. Man, I don't know what to say, but this is a great team, and I can't wait to, to play with these guys. You know, we got great coaches, great players. Everybody seems uh, friendly and cool, and uh, everybody seems knowledgeable of, uh, of the defense, so I feel like we can really work and, and get things clicking. These last three years going to all the injuries that you've gone through, just mm -hmm. how frustrating has that been for you? And just getting here, like, how much do you want to prove that, that you still got it, like, after going through these injuries? I definitely want to prove, you know, just even for my guys' sake, just, you know, giving me the opportunity to get back out there, you know. Injuries suck. Uh, I wish there was a, a, a special way just to stay away from them. Yeah. I mean, I, no one wants to be hurt, man. No one wants to be on the sidelines watching. So, I mean, just staying up, uh, staying up on my strength, continue lifting, good diet, and just give myself the best possibility to stay out there on the field. How do you feel right now, like physically and mentally? Do you kind of feel like the bills are going to be put behind you and kind of a clean slate moving Oh forward? yeah, I'm being this is a new chapter, you know. My, uh, my body's 100%, I feel great, great mentality. Just hopefully push those injuries behind me and you know, move forward. You kind of sound like a little bit earlier, right? Does, does it mean just feel kind of hyperfacial with a lot of potential for the defense? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna do some some big things, and I feel like we're gonna be a dangerous, a dangerous defense. When you spoke to, to Brandon, what was kind of the difference for him as a head coach that you noticed in him? Does, does it feel like this guy's a head coach? What he's meant to be when you spoke to him? Oh yeah, yeah. Or just just his energy just it brings a smile to my face, and he, he he loves the game, he loves his team, and uh, you know I'm excited to play for him. What do you think the value is in just having so many guys picked up this offseason that are familiar? With the defense, you know, there was you know Khalil, you know Troy Reader, Sebastian Joseph. They all these guys that have played in this defense, whether it's in Los Angeles or I feel like that's big, you know, just having a bunch of guys comfortable with their defense, to actually know the defense, and you know, we were in different spots, so we can kind of bring a little stuff from where we came from to the defense and just keep on building on it. From that experience, how how long, how long before the defense is what it actually will be? Is that uh, one games, five games. Uh, the hopefully, you know, hopefully, get it rolling in training camp, and then you know through the season, it's just uh, 
you just gotta get out there with each other, start playing, start knowing like how each other plays, where where my help will be and stuff like that. So it's just gonna take time on the field and hopefully we get it rolling. I feel like we got a, a very smart group of guys out there, so it shouldn't it shouldn't be too long. What's the key to making this team work? The key, uh, just everybody doing their job, people not trying to do too much, just be in the position you need to be in, uh, reliable, responsible, uh, yeah, and just give 100%. You obviously have been able to watch Derwin James from afar, you yeah. know, being in the same division. What do you think it's going to be like playing in the secondary with a guy that's, you know, that's that versatile? I can't, I, I can't wait, man. I, uh, last year I was watching him, he was playing all, like, every position and stuff. Six so. positions, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing it all, so. Uh, it's gonna be exciting because I know he's gonna know what to do in different positions and different plays and stuff like that. He's just real knowledgeable of the game, so that's gonna be exciting. Anything else? Thanks, Chris. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Chris. Good to meet you.